So one thing you might not hear a lot about or hear emphasized when talking about BMX frames are the warranties behind them. A BMX frame warranty can be a huge lifesaver under the right circumstances, and it can also influence the decision of which frame to buy. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the warranty policies of every single major BMX frame manufacturer today, as well as some smaller BMX frame manufacturers and their warranty policies. So let's get started by talking about why you might care about the warranty behind a frame in the first place. In the era of modern day street frames that exist right now, there are a lot of frames in BMX with the exact same geometry or very, very, very slight differences in their geometry. So between two different frames from two different companies, you might be choosing the warranty or the way that the frame looks might be the only differences that you can find that could help you in your decision. So a frame could have a lifetime warranty or it could have a 90 day warranty that is an absolute joke. It varies so widely in BMX, and this is something that can help you in your decision and help you decide which companies to gravitate towards and which companies to move away from. And in this video, I'm not taking shots at anyone. I am taking the exact warranty information from websites and giving it to you in a hopefully easily digestible manner. And with that, I'm organizing this in lifetime warranty and then longest to shortest with a couple things at the end. A couple caveats here before we get into the details on this one and to keep me from repeating myself 40 times are that one, almost every single website that I went to from a BMX company said that you needed to be the original purchaser of the frame with an original copy of the receipt. And some of them even went as far to say that you needed to buy this and prove that you bought it with your original receipt at an authorized retailer only, AKA a bike shop that is an authorized retailer of that company. Also, there's a lot of companies that require you to register your product either on their site or with the warranty card that comes with the frame. So make sure when you're buying a new frame, you look into this and know what you need to do because some of them require it within 14 days or you are SOL or up a creek without a paddle. If you're buying from a US company and you're outside of the US or vice versa, you're buying in the US from a company outside of the US, in most cases you need to work directly with the place that you bought the frame or reach out to the company directly for next steps. Also, there's something called crash replacement that I'm going to be talking about a lot. This simply means that if something happens to your product, the company offers a crash replacement at a lower cost. They're not replacing it for free or warranting it for free and giving you a new one. They're selling you one at a discounted rate for your crash replacement. This is something that's going to come up a lot with a little bit of variance in what it's actually called from different companies. And lastly, as I said earlier, the only information included in this is information that can be found directly on the websites of the companies being mentioned. I'm approaching this from an outside perspective as a new consumer and someone who has absolutely no information other than what can be found on the websites of these companies, because in the end, that's all a consumer really has access to. And with that being said, we've got to always remember in this that the people that we're talking to and working with at these companies are still people in the end. You're talking to a person behind that email address and they are much more likely to work with you even if you're outside of the warranty date a little bit or outside of the terms if you're nice to them and pleasant rather than nasty or demanding. So keep that in mind throughout this if you ever have to experience going through a warranty claim or trying to get help on something that you had a problem with. So with that, let's get into talking about the warranty policies of every single BMX frame manufacturer today. I'm going to start with what I believe is the absolute best, and that is lifetime warranties. And the one that stood out at the very top of the line is Sunday bikes. And that is not just because I ride a Sunday. I ride a Sunday because of things like this. So on Sunday's warranty page, they talk about the 41 thermal lifetime warranty. One important thing to remember here is that not all Sunday frames are covered under this 41 thermal lifetime warranty just specific designated ones like the sound wave or the night shift. And with that, the terms are that 41 thermal frames will be replaced if bent, cracked, or broken under normal riding conditions. How do they define normal riding conditions? With this exactly, it says, using the bicycle in a controlled fashion that is within your own capabilities. That is it. 
This is a case by case basis, but those are the guidelines that they have on their warranty page on their site. There isn't an extensive list of stipulations like you're about to find out with other companies. And with the non 41 thermal frames, it is a one year against manufacturer defects in materials and workmanship. The Moto Ross is a little different case where it's three years of crash replacement warranty. And that is the extent of what can be found on Sunday's website. That is the absolute best warranty that I could find. There are quite a lot of other lifetime warranties, but as you're about to find, they are not as open as this and have much stricter circumstances. So first let's list the other companies that have lifetime warranties on their frames. We the People, Haro, Hoffman, Mongoose, and Hyper. All of these companies, several that you might not think of at first, have lifetime warranties. We the Peoples is the best of this list, and then it kind of goes downhill from here, but they are still lifetime warranties, so they are listed first here. But We the People offers a lifetime warranty against any structural issues or faults from defects in materials or worksmanship. They also have a one year warranty on their paint and finish, which is something that I didn't see any other company offer on their warranty pages. The stipulations from We the People are that damage or issues caused by wear or tear, fatigue or corrosion, inappropriate use, abuse, or deliberate damage or no or improper maintenance, unfortunate accident, aftermarket alteration, or consequential loss are not covered under this lifetime warranty. And in case you want more information, I have every single thing that I cover today, as well as links to every single company's warranty page in the order that I talk about it in the description down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But after that, we've got Haro Hoffman, and Mongoose and Hyper's lifetime warranties. This is where things get into the weeds a little bit. So for Haro, their limited lifetime warranty is for non-conforming issues related to material or worksmanship, does not cover failure due to accident, abuse, neglect, normal wear and tear, or improper assembly, fit, or maintenance. Haro defines intended use of its bicycle as riding in a controlled, smooth manner. Okay, understandable in a location approved for bicycles, okay, kind of understandable, with both wheels on the ground. In order to get an honest lifetime warranty from Haro, you can never leave the ground, apparently. It also says riding in a manner other than that voids the warranty. Shipping and labor charges associated with a repair or replacement are the original owner's responsibility, but a silver lining here is that they do offer crash replacement. And if you think Haro's stipulations are funny, just wait. We've got Hoffman now. Hoffman offers a limited lifetime warranty against faulty materials and workmanship. The warranty conditions do not cover ordinary wear and tear or anything you break accidentally or damage due to improper installation. Then we've got a quote from Hoffman's website. This is where it gets funny. Your bicycle has been designed for general transportation and recreational use, but has not been designed to withstand abuse associated with stunting and jumping. Apparently Hoffman bikes aren't made for what they're made for according to their warranty policy. So they do have a lifetime warranty, kudos for that, but the lifetime warranty feels if you're being honest, like you could never qualify for it. But remember, as I've said, these are people that you're working with here. So we had a couple funny ones here, but now let's move on to Mongoose. Mongoose is one that I feel a lot of people would probably expect these same stipulations and very, very, very strict warranty conditions to be under. But actually their warranty says it's a limited lifetime replacement for failure due to faulty materials or worksmanship. Frames are returned at the customer's expense, but, and I'm paraphrasing here because there's a lot more things that aren't relevant that are listed, competition, jumping, and trick riding. Yes, you think it might get funny here, but it says may result in an unpredictable failure that is not covered by this warranty. Conditions of warranty are exactly the same as Hoffman's as the quote that I read above. Your bicycle has not been designed for stunning and jumping, basically. The exact same thing word for word is also on Mongoose's site, but at least with Mongoose, they say it may result in an unpredictable failure. I don't know if this open-endedness is intentional or not, but it is more open-ended than what we've seen previously with Hoffman and Haro. So now let's move on to Hyper's lifetime warranty. This is a limited lifetime warranty for the original owner, as we've stated previously. This does not cover defects in materials or worksmanship caused by misuse, abuse, or neglect. 
Nothing here about stunt riding or tricks. So that's good. The owner is responsible for shipping and labor charges associated with the warranty, and there's no crash replacement mentioned. And that's the end of lifetime warranties. Now we've got three different companies that offer a two-year warranty, Kink, DK, and Stranger. Kinks I actually really liked. So Kink offers two years against material defects, worksmanship defects, breaks, and cracks. Bends are handled on a case-by-case -case basis, which really stands out from a lot of other companies that we're going to talk about today because a lot of other companies specifically list bends under their we don't cover that list. So then from there, we've got a lifetime crash replacement offered after two years. So even after your frame warranty is up in two years, you can get another one at a discounted rate for the lifetime of your frame and as long as you have it. The warranty cards must be returned or an online registration must be filled out within 14 days. This is one of those that I talked about. And this does not cover normal wear, neglect, improper use or assembly and shipping to kink plus labor charges are not covered. From there, we've got DK's two-year warranty where we first encountered a really funny and strange rule that I don't understand. It says, frames cannot be altered, painted, or sandblasted. Sandblasted, I kind of understand. Altered, I get. But you can't paint your frame and still get a warranty from DK? I don't get that one. Bending and denting are excluded, as well as the labor or shipping charges are not included here. And then it says that uses of parts not consistent with the use originally intended for aftermarket components as sold are not covered by these warranties. Take that for what you will. And then we've got Stranger's two-year warranty. This is a two-year warranty against defects in materials or worksmanship but repaired or replaced products are covered for the remainder of the original two years. So if you have a frame replaced after six months, you still have a year and a half on that new frame that you get warranty, which I think is pretty cool and not something that any of these other companies had listed on their warranty pages. It was actually and explicitly pointed out on many different companies' websites that replaced or repaired parts would have zero warranty beyond the 30-day manufacturing defects warranty. So that's actually pretty cool. Then it says this doesn't cover products whose original product decals or finish or paint have been removed or modified. So once again, you can't paint your stranger, you can't take off the decals, and you can't change the original finish. I don't get that one at all. This one doesn't say anything about altering or sandblasting, specifically just that you literally can't change the original appearance of the frame and still have the two year warranty. Also, there were a ton of other stipulations that I didn't bother listing here that you can find on their website that's linked below. And now we move into the one year warranties. There were a lot of companies that offer a one year warranty, starting with United. They do have a 30 day against manufacturing defects specific specificity pointed out on their website, but it also says one year against breaks. And what put them at the top of the one year warranties for me is that they have a lifetime goodwill upgrade replacement. It says that if you damage a United product while in use, you can purchase a replacement or upgrade at a goodwill replacement price for the lifetime of that part. This was a really good thing to read in their warranty page and the way that I interpret it, this doesn't mean this is exactly how it is, but this is how I interpret it, that even if it's not covered under the warranty or it's outside of the warranty period, if you break something while you're riding it, you can get this goodwill replacement cost, which is awesome to see from companies. It makes you feel like they actually care about you rather than just wanting you to buy another frame and give them your money. So with a goodwill replacement frame, you only get that 30 day manufacturing defect warranty, as well as the fact that any faulty goods must be returned for inspection and the shipping is the customer's responsibility here. And the warranty is not effective if the damage is caused by improper use or the product was not being used under normal riding conditions. This is another thing that I liked about United is because they defined normal riding conditions as using the bike in a manner that is within your own capabilities. Kind of like Sunday here, except with a one year warranty. And I really liked United's, which is why it's at the top here. So then we've got Fit and s and warranties, which are under the same roof. So they have the exact same warranty. 30 days against manufacturing defects, which we've seen previously, then one year against failure from normal use. Free replacement. 
So this is for both Fit and S&M. There's not a ton of specifics on the sites, but I'm assuming that you got to reach out for more information. There's also another lifetime warranty upgrade, which sounds like crash replacement in their wording. But from what I can gather here, I feel it's similar to United's Goodwill replacement pricing, where if something happens to your current frame while you're riding it, you can get a replacement at a lower cost. But it doesn't explicitly say this on their website, so I'm just interpreting here. So then we continue the trend with volume here with the same 30 day against manufacturing defects that we've already heard and one year against breaks and cracks, but not those that are caused by dents, bends, mods, or riding outside of normal riding. There's no warranty for replacements and there's also a lifetime crash replacement offered. So this again feels very familiar and as I keep pointing out, you can find more details the links in the description because there's a lot more details on some of these websites and volume definitely has a lot more details. So we've got Sabrosa with the same 30 days against manufacturing defects, one year against cracking and breaks at the welds. That's all it says, cracking and breaks at the welds, nothing else, I want to be specific here. Then it says stripped threads, bends, dents, abuse or misuse and normal wear and tear are not covered, but they do have crash replacement on replaced parts, but I couldn't see anything about crash replacement on outside of warranty or not covered by warranty frames. Keeping with the theme here, we have what might be a lot of people's favorite company out there right now, but it is right in the middle of warranty coverage is Cult. Cult offers one year against manufacturing defects, which is above the normal 30 days. There's no warranty after replacement, which is also common. Then there's a deal that you can get after one year. So basically if your frame is out of the warranty period, you can get a deal. This does not cover damages like dents or stripped threads and only covers defects in workmanship slash material. That is exact wording. Only covers defects in workmanship and material. Interpret that how you wish and we'll move on to Fiction. Fiction offers a one year warranty against manufacturing defects and material defects. They also have crash replacement after the warranty is over or for non-qualified frames and you must send in affected products and pay for that shipping. So having not really heard a ton about Fiction or knowing a lot about it, I was pretty impressed with the warranty that they have to offer. And we've got Fiend, one year against cracks only that is what it says bending stripping threads twisting denting or other normal wear or abuse or incorrect installation or maintenance are not covered no warranty after replacing crash replacement is available for non-covered or out of warranty frames and all shipping is your responsibility so they do offer crash replacement for non-covered or out of warranty so that is really good as well this feels like a theme that we're seeing in bmx frame warranties and it's very obvious what is above and what is below that we're getting to don't worry so then the next companies that i'm going to list in the one year frame warranty do not mention anything about crash replacement on their site at all so fly has one year warranty against defects in workmanship and breakage it does not cover normal wear and tear dents bends strip threads or anything other than defects in workmanship or breakage no mention of crash replacement as i said BSD has that 30 days manufacturing defects warranty as well as one year on breakage and then replace frames only have that 30 day defects warranty and not one year and again no mention of crash replacement. Colony has a one year warranty excluding flatland frames which is explicitly stated here that is only six months for cracks only. Bending, twisting, denting, strip threads, or other damages deemed rider abuse or incorrect maintenance are not covered. No crash replacement is mentioned. Total, one year only covering defects in materials and workmanship and cracks and snaps. So that's good. At least snaps are mentioned here. This does not cover bends or stripped out threads, twisting, denting, rider abuse, or incorrect maintenance. There's no mention of crash replacement. And then we got Verdes. So Verdes is a little bit up to interpretation here because it's all questions. These are questions that you're supposed to ask yourself apparently if you're in a warranty situation. So all I can do is kind of extrapolate from these questions to get to what I'm assuming are their terms of a one year against defects in materials and workmanship. And then a following question on their form is, does the damage appear to be due to normal wear, impact, accident, rider abuse, error or neglect, improper assembly or improper maintenance? 
I'm assuming that that means that none of those things are covered because if you answer yes to any of those, I'm assuming they're gonna not cover it. Can't say for sure because it is a question, but there's also no mention of crash replacement that I could find. So then we come to layered frame. I feel this is one that could go under the small frame company list that I have later, but because all of the warranty information was available on the website and the fact that they are widely known about in BMX and some of the top pros ride them, I feel it can go on this list. So layered frame has a six month warranty against breakage. If it bends, cracks or breaks, you can buy a replacement at a reduced price crash replacement. And there is a warranty against manufacturing defects. So I feel this is something that is a little bit more understandable having a shorter warranty being that layered frame is working with a much smaller quantity of frames versus one of these much larger companies that's working with way, way, way more frames and can more easily justify sending out a replacement frame, paying for it in full. Whereas a layered frame, he has to make that himself. So some of these smaller companies are totally understandable when it comes to their warranties. Then moving on from here, we get into the absolute losers of BMX frame warranties. Absolutely terrible. So we've got Free Agent. They've got a 10 year guarantee against defects in materials and worksmanship. You're like, all right, this is good. 10 years, that's a long time. I might not even be riding this frame in 10 years or probably won't be. And then you get to the stipulations. Here we go. Does not cover parts damaged from use, misuse, crashing, racing, jumping, stunt riding, or improper maintenance, adjustment, neglect, etc. So basically you can't use the frame, you can't race the frame, you can't jump the frame, you can't stunt ride the frame and get this 10 year warranty. I don't understand that one and I'm going to leave it up to your interpretation. Then we've got Federal. This one is where the sadness starts. Federal only has a 90 day warranty against manufacturing defects and materials. This excludes damage caused by misuse, abuse, neglect, improper adjustments, normal wear and tear, or caused by anything other than defects in worksmanship and material. And then a quote from their site. If a product is found to be defective by our own sole discretion, our only responsibility shall be limited to repair or replacement of the defective product. We will not be responsible for any costs, losses, or any damages incurred as the result of use of this product. It just kind of feels arrogant. I get that you might have to use this verbiage legally, but to say if a product is found defective by our own sole discretion, it just doesn't sound good. Anyways, though, let's move on to Tall Order, who also only has a 90 day warranty against defects in manufacturing and materials. It has the exact same quote I just read from Federal site in pretty much the exact same format on their warranty sites as well. And on theirs, it says this warranty excludes the following. And number four on this list is one I just captured here because it was interesting. It says commercial use racing or competition, stunting, jumping, trick riding. Okay. So you can't ride your bike as a BMX bike and get a warranty. It's only 90 days though. So I mean, what are you missing out on? Also aggressive riding, riding with excessive loads. So you can't be overweight and ride a tall order and get a warranty. Apparently that's what it sounds like. And this is where it just gets insulting. Lack of technical skill, competence or experience of the user. I'm not going to say anything. I'll let you guys do the judging. <laughs> then we've got radio. This is where we get into a lack of information. So I simply just couldn't put it higher because I couldn't tell for sure what these things meant. So under radio, you get a one year warranty on complete bike frames is what it says. It doesn't mention aftermarket frames. It does say that it doesn't cover bending or denting or normal wear accident, abuse, neglect, improper assembly, or maintenance. The link is in the description if you want more information on there, if you're considering a radio bike. Then when it comes to GT, GT is a huge company that makes so many different bikes and frames and all of this stuff and so many different segments of the bicycle industry. 
that it's hard to pick through these things and find the information that you need. And I could not find information specific to freestyle BMX. So I couldn't find the BMX specific info. It did appear that it would fall under the three year warranty of the gravity free ride and dirt jumping frames. But I can't say that for sure because it's not listed. It does say that abuse, neglect, improper repair or maintenance, normal wear and tear, including results of fatigue are not covered. And there is a lot of information and legal talk at the link that's in the description below if you want to see that. And this is where we come into the small frame companies. And there is a lot of them here that are in the BMX world. There's a lot of different small frame companies out there that I wanted to make sure that I hit on. And I also wanted to make sure that I say I'm not trying to insult anyone by not including them in this list. This is just what I could come up with off the top of my head for making this video. And there is a range here in what is offered in warranty for what you can find because a lot of them you just simply can't find their warranty information on their site. And I'll list those first here. Work Frames, John Quartz's new company. I couldn't find their information, but I did link their Instagram below. I couldn't even find his website actually. Then we've got Nowhere BMX, Pedal Driven Cycles, Bone Death, and Alive Industry. I just couldn't find these companies' warranty information. Nothing against them. I just couldn't find it. They probably have a policy, it's just not anywhere that I could find. But perhaps the most legitimate of the small frame companies that I could find was Medieval. So there is a three months warranty on American made frames and a 30 day warranty on all other frames against material defects, craftsmanship defects, breaks, cracks, and bends are handled on a case by case basis. And then it says defined as under normal riding conditions, which is defined by medieval as using the bicycle in a controlled, comfortable fashion that is within your own capabilities. So the fact that a smaller frame company is using some of the same verbiage and policies of a huge company like Sunday or United just shows that they're doing it right and legit. It also said that it does not include normal wear, neglect, improper use or assembly, general abuse, or outside forces such as swords, automobiles, earthquakes, demigods, etc. So I also like their humor in there as well. Definitely really enjoyed Medieval site in their warranty page, which is not something I could say about a lot of other ones. Then we've got 80s Bike Co. They were next on my list. They've got a one year warranty against material worksmanship and defects, breaks and cracks, normal wear, neglect, improper use or assembly, general abuse are not covered, only a 30 day warranty on replaced frames and they are treated by a case by case basis. So then we've got Terrible One. Yes, Terrible One is a hugely known company in BMX. It's been around for quite some time and I really did want to include them in the list above, but after reading their warranty page, I feel that the amount that they care means that they don't have to go into this huge company because it's more of a personal touch. There is literally a personal letter from Joe on their warranty page that makes it seem like it would be a case by case basis, but you really get the feeling that he cares here, which made me feel like that personal touch is something that you really get with smaller companies and I left it under the small frame category. Then we've got Standard. This is another one that I wanted to include in the top, but there was just no information available on the site. So I can't really give anything there based on what is available because nothing is available. But from personal experience, hearing stories, I have heard of issues being fixed where you send a frame back, they fix the frame and send it back to you, but I can't say anything for certain or from personal experience with me actually doing it myself. Then we've got White House. There's no information on their site or a warranty page other than just an email address listed at the bottom of their site. And with that, if you guys have any warranty experiences from any of the companies that I've listed or some that I might have forgotten, leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure that warranty experiences, both positive and negative, will help people in deciding their next frame purchase. And I hope that this video helped you with that as well. If it did and you're new here, hit the subscribe button while you're down below leaving a comment. And I do have a video about BMX frame geometry very in depth if you need to learn more about that to help you in your frame purchase as well. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope that I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.